There are some big questions tonight about a major leadership shakeup that is underway at the Pentagon weeks before Inauguration Day. Defense Secretary Mark Esper and three other top Defense Department leaders are now out, and they have been replaced by five officials who have long been loyal to President Trump, led by the new acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller. The New York Times notes that the president has, quote, elevated officials who have pushed for more aggressive actions against Iran and for an imminent withdrawal of all American forces from Afghanistan over the objections of the military, they write. Also pointing out, so far there is no evidence that the appointees harbor a secret agenda or have arrived with an action plan. Joining me now, retired four-star General Jack Keane, chairman of the Institute for the Study of War and a Fox News senior strategic analyst. Uh, General, I can't think of a better person to talk to about all of this. And I wanted to know, when I heard all of this, what your reaction is. Does it concern you? No, not much at all, to be honest with you, Martha. I mean, this is another one of these stories that just gets completely out of hand and distorted. We've got even our own Pentagon reporters hyping this story, which is kind of sad to see. I mean, what do we really have here? We have a president who's completely within his authority to remove a cabinet official, in this case, Secretary Esper, who, by the way, I have provided some uh, advice to myself. And, and he did that, as I understand it, because he didn't believe that Secretary Esper, not any particular one thing, but a whole series of things, was executing the president's agenda. And so it's certainly within his right to do that. And he's put in some acting people here, an acting secretary of defense and an acting policy person, a couple of other people resigned. And it looks to me that they're, they're custodians. If the president is going to have another term, I would imagine he would do what he's done before, and that is send the, send the actual principles up to get confirmed. And I doubt they would be these people, to be frank about it. Uh, so I, I don't know why everyone's so concerned about it. I guess people think because these individuals may have had um, some alarming agendas that they were supporting in the past, that somehow that would now become the president's agenda. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, Martha, in, well, in terms of— let me play of, this. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. In, in terms of the truth so, I just want to play this. This is from— yeah, that, that's what, let me play this, and then I'm going to get your, your direct reaction to this. This is Colonel Doug, <laughs> Colonel Doug McGregor. Uh, let's watch this. This is a, a flashback soundbite from him. September. He's got to get out of Afghanistan. That has to happen as soon as possible. Talking to the Taliban is unnecessary. They're not going to honor any agreements. It's time to get our forces out, get the embassy out. The nations in the region have an interest in the place. They want to have to right. deal with it. Let them deal with it. So, uh, you know, Lindsey Graham and others react strongly to that. They don't want to see a troop withdrawal. They think that we need troops in Afghanistan in order to keep the Taliban in check and to have a presence in that part of the world. Uh, do you think this signals that we're going to see a withdrawal by Christmas, which the president tweeted about not that long ago? Why, why, why do we care why what Colonel Retired McGregor thinks, who's not nothing only than an advisor to the new acting guy, who's the Secretary of Defense. Why are we so invested in him? I mean, that what he is espousing there, and also to pull out of North Korea and pull out of Europe, uh, he doesn't see an alliance that's worth anything. I mean, uh, President Trump didn't appoint him. Uh, why, would it, why are we transferring what McGregor thinks to a possibility what the president is thinking? I know for a fact that they've gone through a deliberate process again today with the total national security team in place to discuss our troop commitments. There's no change in any of those plans. We are committed with modest forces in Iraq. We are committed with modest forces in Syria. And we are committed to a time, tame, a time place withdrawal out of Afghanistan based on the conditions that are established there. And to pull out right. precipitously, as McGregor suggests, would undermine the peace process with President Trump had a hand in playing. He, he would be defeating his own purposes. I, I, we are hyping right. this thing, Martha. Yeah, go ahead. We are hyping it. Yeah. All right. General Jack Keane, um, I think a lot of people hope you're right about that. And so we really appreciate you coming on tonight. Good to speak with you as always, General. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.